my channel guys this is your girl stella on dear stella tv today we're talking about something serious again you know i always talk about serious issues lines you don't cross in a marriage if you're new to my channel welcome if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for press that subscribe button click the notification bell let's chill together hmm? you know that song let's chill together and um so let's together please share my videos and like it let's work together to end all this grief in marriage by the grace of God. Before you do that, I'd like to have a drink, drink with me, please. Today, it's about, I'm just going to talk about three lines you don't cross in a marriage. Line number one, under no circumstance would it be justifiable for you to put your wife family down or your husband's family down that includes no cursing his dad or his mom no cursing her dad or her mom you don't cross it the bible says honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land which your lord thy god has given thee it is the first promise out of the Ten Commandments that comes with a blessing. It's not talking about just your own father and your mother, anybody's parents. A woman you have chosen to love and to cherish, you cannot then go back because she's done something wrong in your marriage, because she's upset you. And then you go and you curse her parents. You don't cross that line. Or your husband has been so mean to you or whatever, I don't care what he's done. Seriously. I don't care. I don't want to know. Do not curse his parents. You just don't do it. If you are well brought up, you can curse your parents. You don't curse his parents. If you are well brought up as a man, it is not a man thing. It is not something that says you are chilling with the big boys. You know that song now? It is not something that you do and you say, I curse your dad. You say, what is wrong? Because that's why your dad is so stupid. Or your dad is such an idiot. You don't, you don't do that. You don't cross. It. You don't put his family down. Whether he's there or he's not. Hope you get that straight. Don't put his family down. Secondly, another line you don't cross is, don't make your spouse feel as if they are not good enough. That is the worst mistake you can also make. It's on the same level as putting his family down, in my opinion. Because, look, you marry your wife or you marry your husband. You say, this is my life partner. This is my ride or die. This is my best stay. This is my all in all. I'll give everything for this guy, for this, for this woman. And then you shoot them down by telling them that they're not good enough. You don't have to say to your face to say you are a useless woman or you are a stupid woman or you are an idiot or you are dumb or you are deaf. You don't have to say that. Or you don't have to tell your husband you are worthless. You are a waste of space. I mean, what am I doing with you? I don't even know why I married you. No, 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 no. You cannot make or you can't think for yourself or um, you think you do this. You think, you think, yeah, because you are a lawyer or because you are a doctor, you know it all. You know? Or, I mean, come on, your wife or your husband did not stop you from bettering your life, you know, from being anything you want to be. Don't put them down because you feel insecure about what you are, about who you are. Because you haven't achieved your dreams or because you were not opportuned to achieve your dream or because you wasted the opportunity. And you meet this woman or this guy and he's amazing and he's good at his job or her job and, you know, she's recognized and she's honored or he's, he's you know, smart and savvy. And, and those are the things, those are the qualities you probably loved in them when you asked them to marry you or when you said yes to this guy. But it's the same quality now that you try to put them down for. Or maybe they are not as top end as you 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 know you earn six figure salaries and your partner isn't there all that and you say oh you're so lazy you're so complacent you know I, I don't know why you're not i don't know why you know you're just not good enough never ever make your partner 
feel as if they are not good enough for you. That no matter what they do, you say you want this, you like this, you know, you like date night, uh, you like to eat, I don't know, whatever food you like to eat, whatever culture you are. For Nigerians, you can say, oh, he, he likes pandejam and egusi anytime. This woman makes it for you. You still have reasons to be, you know, to not be happy. You have children, you have a house, you have, you know, you have jobs. In fact, both of you have jobs, husband and wife, you have jobs. You have everything going for you. But one thing you don't have is you don't value each other. Or you don't value your partner. It, it's false. it ruins everything. It ruins the blessing that you have, that God has given you. Do you not see that? Something as fundamental, it, 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 it sucks out the happiness in your home. Yes, I did a video with uh, a friend of mine, uh, my LBS colleague called Taya Aluko. And the video is out now. It's about, you know, um, encouraging families, you know, marriages, you know, building happy homes. And we talked about, you know, romance in the marriage, sex in the marriage and, and deep stuff like that. In details, guys, it's graphic. So if you haven't seen my video, go on TikTok, go on my Instagram page, TikTok, there's Stella TV, Instagram page, Stella Ajanaku. And you see there's a link there. And I think I'll put this link here now. Just try and watch that video. It's quite a length, lengthy video, but if you're struggling in your marriage, that video is for you. And um, if you do, leave us a comment. Let us know. Back to what I was saying. So you, you have to see, you have to appreciate your wife, excuse me, or your husband. It is your God-given role. Enjoy your marriage. Don't use your own hand to destroy your marriage. The Bible says that a, a foolish woman tears down her own home. Help, pray that God will help you to build your home. There's a third line you don't cross. You do not get married and then constantly throw it in your partner's face that your old life before him or before her, that it was better that you like to go back there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Press pause. You don't do that. You don't want to go back to your own vomit, you know? When you put that out there, when you say it, do you know how your, your husband or your wife feels about that? It means you've processed it because out of the abundance of the heart, that's what the Bible says, the mouth speaks. So you are telling your husband or your wife that you don't value your marriage. No matter how many years you've been married, the work that has gone into it, the effort, the building up, you just tear it down with one statement. We've got to be careful. The mouth... But Proverbs tells us that the mouth is like, it's a fire. It can burn down a whole city, you know. It can burn down your marriage. And I know that is not what you intend. So make sure that what you, what you truly want, what you truly desire, which is a happy home, a lovely marriage, you know, a marriage you want to enjoy, is, is what, those are the kind of words that comes out of your mouth. So you can't say you want a happy home, but you say destructive words. How does that work? Your words and your action have to marry in your marriage. You have to be intentional. You have to watch what you say. Not watch what you say in terms of, oh, I can't say this, I can't say it. No. Watch the words that you say. Make sure that if you don't have any good thing to say, shut up. If you don't have words to build up your husband or your wife, to build up your partner, don't say it. If you have issues that, that are annoying you, say, say, address the issues. For example, your husband lies to you. Your wife, I don't know, she doesn't cook or clean or she stays late at work or whatever, whatever it is. Or doesn't handle, you don't like the way... Um, the, your, your, your partner parents the children whatever it is oh they overspend the money they go into your joint account and they draw down without telling you I don't care what it is whatever it is address that issue don't then go and say something like yeah my ex-girlfriend was so much better I don't know why I said so for you Jesus Christ of man what do you mean by that do you know what you said just 
Think, hear yourselves. Think about it. Reverse it. Ask if it was your wife that said that to you. How would you feel? Oh, I, I wish, oh, my ex-boyfriend, oh my God, that guy was so super smart. He was intelligent, you know. He could read me. He knows me very well. How would you feel as a man? So, you in a marriage, do not try to hurt each other. You try to love each other, build each other up. Anything that is going to destroy your husband or your wife's confidence, self-esteem, make them feel unappreciated, undervalued, make them feel like you don't love them, you don't say it out of your mouth. You, 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 uh, you express yourself in terms of, if you're upset about what they've done, discuss that issue until it's resolved. And when you say, and when, you apologize, when your partner apologizes, you forgive. If they don't apologize, you forgive. Yes, now, that is marriage for you. The Bible says that when the disciples ask Jesus, how many times do we need to forgive our brother? 70 times, 7 times. Do you know how many that time? 490 times. I bet since you married your wife or husband, they've not hurt you 490 times. So keep forgiving. That's what it means. So I hope today you've learned about not crossing certain lines. Lines that can actually shake the foundation of the marriage. Break it in two. Destroy the love your partner has for you. You are supposed to be fanning the embers of love in your marriage, not putting it out. So I pray that God will give you wisdom to know when to speak and when to be silent. That God will give you wisdom to love your husband or your wife. And I pray your marriage will deepen and you'll be blessed and happy in Jesus' name. Guys, that is this video for today. But before you go, purchase. That is my novel. Find it on Amazon. Uh, Kobo, Nook, and all the online market retailers. Let me know if you get my books and if you enjoy it. Until next time, like my video, share, subscribe, press the notification bell. Don't miss any videos. I love you. God bless.